What's cracking, everybody? It's your Uncle 7 9 and Spiritual Savage back to bring you a message this afternoon. Um, it's currently or morning or evening, no matter where you are, midday, mid morning, grand rising, grandmother in rising. It's 1238 p.m. on June 16, 2024. It's 83 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, a little cloudy here. It's supposed to be storming later here in Minneapolis. Uh, I'd like to just give some thanks to the Most High God for bringing us here for this message. For waking us up this morning for giving us the breath of life giving us another opportunity to go out in the world and make some different changes uh you know you could go out there and be karmic and then learn your lesson you can do a lot there's a lot of different things that people can do uh, with this opportunity with the, that, that breath of life that comes okay so praise the most high god all praises to the most high god for for doing it he will won't he I just came back in. It's 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 kind of sweltering. I don't know. Just outside. I don't know. It's it's cooler in here. I had the air going. I got the wind blowing in here. So we're just trying to you know cool it down. Cool it down. New Jersey, new addition. They're from Jersey, aren't they? Or Boston? They from Boston. That's right, Massachusetts. My bad, New E. Uh, but the happy birthday, Tupac Shakur. Um, today is his birthday. Uh, also, happy Father's Day to any of my uh, Soul Tribe family out there that is that are fathers, good dads, okay? Happy Father's Day. We all need a mother and a father to come into this world, you feel me? But let's see what we got here. So I was, I was walking back uh, when, I, when I was on my way to the store, okay? Um... I had a, a a feeling of annoyance, and I heard uh, you and you don't have you don't have to explain a mother thing to nobody. So somebody out there in the collective this morning uh, is arguing with somebody, or somebody's questioning you about something. I don't know. Uh, and then I got an image. I the thought of being John Malkovich came into my head. So it's kind of like maybe either you're going back and forth. There's a lot of different things going on in your head. But I really kind of feel like the the being John Malkovich person, uh, the the karmic, because then I heard being karmic Malkovich. <laughs> You're talking to somebody who's crazy as hell. Somebody got a lot going on in their head they can suffer from, and this is no no way in shape or form um, any kind of uh, you know diss towards anybody that suffers from PID. You know. Um, personal, you know, the multiple personality disorder. Um, I'm not making fun of anybody, but this this person or anybody with schizophrenia, for that matter, either. I'm picking up on the fact that this person has some serious mental health conditions, though. I feel like this person uh, that wants to wants you to explain something I've got a lot of explaining to do. So you could be arguing with somebody who is uh, who's insane, okay? Or you could be arguing with somebody who's fucking retarded. I said what I said, okay? Take that how you, take that how it resonates. If you come around here, you should know that I'm not talking about people with mental handicaps, okay? When I say retarded, I'm talking about a fucking tired. OK, just like when I say somebody, you know, we've all been karmic, but there's a difference between uh, somebody doing something that is karmic and a mother karmic. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's a difference between somebody who's told a lie and a liar. You feel me? There's something something very habitual about this person's uh, behavior. But before we get started, I'd like to something told me to come home and grab my spirit, uh, the wild unknown spirit animal uh, oracle deck tarot deck or whatever you could be seeing dragonflies i saw a lot of dragonflies out there today okay so you could be seeing dragonflies alexa what's the spiritual significance of dragonflies dragonflies are symbols of transformation change and spiritual growth they are also associated with the spirit world and have been considered messengers of the gods in many cultures. In Native American folklore, dragonflies are symbols of connection to the spirit world and are associated with the element of air. In Asian cultures, dragonflies are symbols of happiness and good luck. Here we go. Let's see if she knows. Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today is the birthday of rapper Tupac Shakur, who came from a woman, got his name from a woman, and his game from a woman, on this day in 1971. And we know his dear mama didn't raise no fool. He went on to become one of the most influential rappers of all time, both in the music scene, and also as an advocate for justice and social change. Thanks to Tupac, things will never be the same. Thank you. 
We got zebra. Okay. Yo, you know if she didn't answer that question right, I was unplugging her ass. Okay. I mean, there's something. There are a lot of influential figures in rap that have that have gone like Nipsey and Biggie. But there's something about Tupac. Not to discredit or do, you know take away from anybody else, but there's something about Tupac. Okay. It just is. Deal with it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what this means. Talking about the zebra here. This could just be an oracle message for someone. Eccentric, creative, and visionary. Right on time. We're talking about Tupac Shakur. He was eccentric as hell too, though. A lot of people don't really realize that. He was very eccentric. Uh, zebras are the most precious of gems. They are young at heart, well-cultured, and have an undying curiosity about life. Being in the company of a zebra personality not only is a delight, but also opens our minds. Be prepared. Their potent magic is contagious, and you may soon find yourself in a faraway land, expanding your worldwide view while having a blast. Zebras also like to contribute to the global health through environmental or volunteer work. This card may be a hint to pack your bag. So you may be traveling to go be on. Maybe you're going to be a missionary. Maybe you're going to like the Peace Corps. I just heard I've always wanted to do something like the Peace Corps. I always thought that would be fun. But when you're in balance, you're worldly, enthusiastic, and you're fashion forward. When you're out of balance, you're jaded, pouty, vain, and a horrible dresser. I threw that one in there. But to bring yourself back into balance, uh, an epic adventure or do some art. You could be moving. Okay. I think we'll just keep that there. Um, so let's talk about this person that you ain't got to explain shit to 704 when i look down charlotte north carolina could be very significant here or july 4th could be significant and i you know when i was walking i i was listening to something and somebody said the 4th of july so that's a confirmation okay the 4th of july somebody's birthday could be the 4th of july something could be happening on the 4th of july something could have happened on the 4th of july or you could be getting some type of independence away from somebody or a situation and or place okay well let's see what we're talking about here and then i'll grab uh, some initials and then we'll get into it holy spirit uh please oh, well, archangel michael please clear out the energy for this reading so i give a clear and concise message to the collective what did i say at the very beginning new jersey trenton the garden state okay boston could be very significant as well des moines iowa okay the hawkeye state that could be significant as well i feel like somebody's being watched somebody's watching you hawkeye Somebody could be, uh, this person is, this person could be a little loony, Delulu, okay? Somebody's name could be Lewis, last name Lewis, first name Lewis, however you want to spell it, okay? Can I get some, thank you. Can I get some initials? Two more, three, two, one more. Okay, we got three out here. F D O D F O. Oxford. Ford. Adolf. Dolph, Adolphus, Adolph, what's at the bottom, U, okay, let's get the T, what's the T out here, so tell me about what, what this person wants you to explain, that you don't have to, you don't, I mean, why, this, I feel like whoever we're talking about here is, is, I don't really feel like it's something that this person wants you to explain. I feel like you may feel like you always have to explain something to this person. I'm picking up on the fact that this person, you know, uh, not to say that, you know, a lot of times people get very indignant and go, I ain't got to tell you, I ain't got to tell you, I ain't got to explain shit to nobody. You're right, because we all grown, you all make choices. But, you know, a lot of times too, yeah, whoever this person is, 
uh, ain't shit, okay? And they're probably trying to accuse you of giving them something, but you didn't do it, caught a case. This person uh, wants you to explain why they got a disease. Or, you know, they always ask you to explain something that's very, I don't know, just kind of, I, I not even, I, just foolish. They always want you to explain some shit they should be explaining. You know what I'm saying? I've been there before with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, why you want, so you basically, you want me to tell you, you know what I'm saying? Why you did something or you want, so I used to run into a situation with people I was with where they did something wrong and they danced around it and it was like playing like 20 questions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 20 questions with cards of destruction, cards, cards of destruction. Is that the name of the game? Uh, whatever that, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, but it was always something like that. You know what I'm saying? I got to ask questions and then they got to answer. Nobody ever really came out and just told the truth. It was always kind of like an excavation of sorts. Uh, digging, 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 digging. And then, and you know, the thing about it is, to see, people have to listen to me, Karmic. Come here. Come here. Some good uncle advice. If you're going to be sneaky, if you're going to be a liar, if you're going to try to hide things, you know, bury things, sweep things underneath the rug. The best thing that you can do, and I don't even know why I'm explaining this to somebody. This may help you change your scabbity ways, I guess, karmic. Niece or nephew, brother, sister, mom, dad, uncle, auntie, extended family, karmic friends, whatever the fuck. If you are going if you want to keep things hidden, don't don't play the game of don't do the 20 question shit. Cause you're gonna get caught up. Because if, if you're dealing with somebody like me who's an intuitive, okay, I got to shave, y'all. It always looks so weird when I don't shave. But I'm, I'm good right now, okay? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell, notif uh, bell notification. Select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload. You feel me? I'd like to thank people that have made financial contributions to my channel. Uh, PayPal, Super Chat, Super Thanks, Cash Apps. Appreciate you. Savage Apple Seeds. Mwah. Mwah. I love you guys. Thank you very much. New subscribers, current subscribers, OGs. It's with you. Okay? Intergalactic Beings, Galactic Federation. Hi. How you doing? Ancestors, 5D and 3D. Spirit guys, spirit teams, and law enforcement. I love you guys. You're the Jedis. 5D and 3D ones as well. Archangels, Guardian Angels, Ascended Masters, and those alike. I appreciate you as well. I had to get some shout outs and last but not least what's up baby i love you you feel me always all right so check this out so if you if you want to keep because if you're dealing with somebody who's intuitive moving in silence this person don't know doesn't know when to shut the fuck up i just heard this person just all the time there's always something out of this person's mouth it's kind of like with this moves in silence too it's kind of like i'm picking up on the fact that this is like this is a person that uh will create like there'll be a whole scene you know like say for instance you're at a mall and this person looks at somebody like they're doing too much and you're like why are you doing like you got to do all that and then they go oh what the fuck are you talking about bitch <laughs> what the and they draw all this attention and you're just kind of like just let it go because they embarrassed you that is a bullying tactic. That's a gaslighting tactic. But more, moreover, it's a bullying tactic because they want to, they they want to, they want to, you know, detach themselves or or, or or create some distance between you and the questioning, which leads me to my next what I was going to say, and I'm going to reapproach this when I come back. So if you if you don't if you're dealing with somebody like me who's an analytical thinker who picks up on the nuances where you can tell somebody's lying or you're just getting you know you sometimes you just ask because you just want to come you want confirmation that you're not wrong because you know a person could say one thing when they're lying and if you're intuitive if you're psychic you can go man i just saw the whole damn thing now let's play this game you fucking scab you know what i'm saying but any karmics out there that's a liar, if you don't want anybody finding out that's intuitive, I mean, they're going to know any of There's going to be an intuitive nudge. And if you're dealing with a psychic, they can see it on you when you walk in the door. But just for argument's sake, sorry about the sweat. I just came back in. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't do the, well, ask me questions. What do you want to ask me? Because 
If you're dealing with somebody who's a mentalist, who knows how to uncover things, they're going to ask you questions that you don't think have anything to do with you telling the truth and you fuck around and answer a question and the person goes, you're a damn liar. So you might as well just, you know, because you're allowing... I feel like uh, commercial break. I feel like all pedophiles. I feel like all uh, rapists. I feel like all those kind of people should be like burned at the stakes with nobody watching. I just feel like they should all have to look at each other. It should be like one big ass thing where they, I don't know how they would do it where all these people have to look at each other while they burn. That's just what came to my mind. I said what I said. Okay, because the energy is just foul and it stinks and it's disgusting and it gives me the willies. I don't give a fuck who the pedophile or the rapist is. They deserve to be whatever happens. Okay, how do you accidentally do some shit like that? You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here. Back to what I'm telling you though. So don't don't do the 20 questions kind of thing. And uh, collective, my soul tribe family. Don't participate in the 20 question shit either. It's a gaslighting technique. If somebody want, if, if, if you ask somebody a question and they go, well, what, what are you what are you asking me? Because a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, gifted manipulators want you to ask them questions to create re uh, what I like to call plausible deniability. OK, plausible deniability is basically they can deny something is so long as you don't address it. So it's a little different than omitting things. It's just like, okay, so uh, did you go to the club last night? No, I didn't. But in their mind, they, they, they went to a club, what would be considered a club, but they actually went to a bar. So they're sitting in front of your face and they, I didn't go to the club last night. You're like, you didn't? And they're like, no, I didn't. To them, they're not really lying. But, but they are like, I mean, plausible deniability. You said, you said club, I actually went to a bar. That's exactly what they'll say later on. And then you'll go, so what did you do after you, after you went to the, you know, they want you to, they, they want, it's kind of like they want you to be the one to vocalize or tell their story because they're too pussy to tell you. Men, men and women both do the same thing. Okay. So back to this, what I was going to say uh, earlier. Yeah, I forgot. So we're going to go on with this. Hold on. I, Cause I feel like it was important. I don't remember because we were talking about the lying. We were talking about blah, blah, blah. I got to go back and watch. Hold on. <laughs> I'm getting old, y'all. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> All right. So going back to uh, the bullying. You know, when people act a fool and want to do all that. I was I was used to be, be with somebody with cut the up. Uh, Every time, like in public, because then I would go, you know, you know what? I'd be like, man, you just trying to, like, I ain't with all this embarrassing because I don't like that kind of shit. I don't. Everybody in your business, but especially if you like two niggas or something, and motherfuckers like, why them two niggas over there arguing like that? That ain't everybody's business, but you know, when you're dealing with somebody, a lot of times people being exposed. Uh, is there's is 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 the worst thing for them instead of people looking at them like something wrong with that dude something wrong with that bitch you know what I'm saying but you know what I'll tell you if somebody does that to you collective my soul family match that motherfucking energy quick because they're probably so used to you going never mind man it's a deflective kind of thing it's 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 it's, it's kind of like it's reverse psychology mixed with a little bit of Jedi pimp, you know, like a 70s pimp kind of manipulation. You're all, you're, you're all kind of, they got you well-trained kind of energy. Match that energy. I've done it. It works. The motherfucker wants to start acting crazy. You heard what the fuck I asked you, knuckle? <laughs> they like, oh shit. They, they like deer in headlights. They don't know what else to do. They stop. It's time for you to move on from this person. Thank you. Next. Tell me something else, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm with. I, I Listen, because a lot of times people don't think you're with the shits. I'm with the shits. Like, for real, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm really. I don't, I'm not, I don't act phony on here. You know what I'm saying? There's a time and a place for everything. And the older I've gotten, three days, 44, baby. 
the older I've the older I've gotten, the wiser I've gotten. Everything don't deserve that much energy, but there are sometimes I am with the shits. Okay, I don't care if they're crazy. I don't care if they're talking to eighteen different people in their brain. Or we can I argue with all you crazy motherfuckers in that brain. You feel me? <laughs> okay, but sometimes you gotta let a demon know you ain't playing. Okay. Inside scoop, baby. A closer look. Nosy all up in your business. Into you. Good chemistry. Great vibes. Positive. Uh, so with this into you inside scoop and moves in silence. I feel like whoever we're talking about here, the person that always wants you to explain something, uh, we're going to take out the good chemistry and the great vibes and positive energy. I don't really feel like that's anywhere, uh, you know, connected to this message. I feel like into you and inside scoop, I feel like this person is always checking your phone, always asking you something, always wants you to explain where you're being, why you wearing that, why you dressing like that. Why you spray on that perfume? Why you spray on that cologne? Why was you gone? Tim, you know, it's a lot of control I'm picking up on. Or attempted control, anyways. I feel like whoever I'm picking up on, you ain't, you're not, you, you don't really want to be, con like, you're not with the controlling shit, but you just kind of, you don't like a lot of drama. I feel like this person also uh, airs your business out to make you look like a bad person. Like, they tell all their friends, like, man, he a hoe, she a hoe, or he ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like, I feel like this person does things that, that puts everybody in your business, but plays the victim. This person plays like you're doing something to them all the time. But they're really the one doing something. This person is crazy. This person could probably suffer from some type of, I don't know. This person could be using drugs. Let's see what else the Mr. Uh, the, the Mr. T. Alexa, what's Mr. T's full name? Mr. T's birth name is Lawrence Turode, and he was born on May 21st, 1952. Thank you. Good afternoon, Dwayne. Anytime. Literally. So somebody's name could be Lawrence. Somebody's birthday could be March 21st. Somebody could be born in the year 1952. Somebody could be a Pisces, Aries, Cusper. However this works. The, the name Lawrence could be very significant though. Because I said Mr. T. A person's nickname could be T. Your nickname could be T. Yeah, giving money. What else? Following giving money. Cloud hungry. This person likes a lot of attention. This person could could do things for clicks. This person could be active on social media. This could be the kind of person that, uh, you know what I'm saying? Again, that when some drama goes on, this person runs right to social media and creates a post on Facebook or Instagram or may even have a YouTube channel where they talk shit about you. <laughs> oh, you want me to tell you what I was just saying? What I just heard somebody in my one of my ancestors because I got ancestors with me today. I'm telling you here. Anytime I crave tequila, I know there's an ancestor that loved to drink tequila around. Okay? I just heard one of somebody or some one of y'all's ancestors said, I mean, I'll slap the shit out of that motherfucker. I feel like this person always does that. Okay? This person does things for clicks, does things to get noticed. And the crazy part about it was when I opened up this animal spirit deck and I looked at the bottom, the peacock was there in the reverse. So peacocks are about people that, uh, you know, are very haughty. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, you know, peacocks represent like royalty, divinity, beauty, elegance, all those good things. But it also represents somebody who's very conceited. It could be because the male penguins are very kind of flashy. It was in the reverse. So it's kind of like this person got low self-esteem probably or... Pales in, I just heard pales in comparison to whoever you are. So you're with somebody who's also competing with you, which is weird. If, you, if this is, I think it's weird anyways. But in same-sex relationships, I mean that I, that I can I can see more of that kind of happening. But if we're talking about a male-female dynamic, uh, whoever this person is, I'm picking up it's a man. Uh, needs needs to needs to needs to probably date a man. I don't know because this it's that's just that's that's woman. Not to say, you know, y'all know what I'm saying. That's bitch energy, okay? This person hooked, okay? In the reverse. I feel like you're not falling for it anymore. 
That's what I feel like. I feel like hooked, hook, line, and sinker. I feel like you're not falling for it anymore. Or you shouldn't. Confirmation, you're not falling for it anymore. Let's get a couple of more what the T cards out here. <laughs> I can't see. Bad reputation. Yeah, this person tried to give you a bad reputation. It's in the reverse. Don't worry about it. I feel like people are figuring out that this person is a fucking whack job, okay? Let me get another card, please. Fake flexing with your money, giving money. This person is a it's all. It's always. It's always. It's always a motherfucker that's, that that ain't got shit, or 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 or, or for pretending like it's always a fake motherfucker out there in the middle of a mall or outside in front of people trying to embarrass the successful one. I feel like this. That's an energy siphoning technique. Yeah, dust it off, man. Whatever happens, just it's old news. I just feel like whatever this person is doing is old. Uh, dust it off, girl fight. This person probably, you probably got bitches wanting to fight with you or niggas wanting to fight with you, whoever. You got people wanting to fight with you over this sorry bastard. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm picking up on. This person is a trip. Okay, this person always likes to, this person gets high all the time, likes to drink and use drugs on your dime, I just heard. You do not feel like being bothered with this person. Not anymore. And we got wasting time here. You know that this person was wasting your time. You didn't want to be stuck anymore. Maybe you still feel stuck with this person. This person is creeping, like I said, and refuses to move on. This person wants to shame you, like I said, by looking up dirt that they can't find. This person ain't got no car, okay? This person is a happier spiritual hater. There could be some issues with child services with this person, fake accounts. This person, this person uh, is trolling you online. Again, legal issues are here. You may need to get a restraining order on this person because they're stalking the f out of you. Okay? People are stupid, man. I've been using that word a lot lately, and I kind of feel like people get offended when I use that word. I don't really care. Okay? I'm not saying that I'm, uh, you know, kind of, when you when you use the word like stupid and idiot and dingbat and pea brain and bird brain retarded dumb motherfucker um something wrong with your ass you know you, when you say things like that out loud people get offended and it's usually stupid people that get offended okay that's the truth Ruth. because overall what i'm what i'm explaining is extremely stupid you know what i'm saying i don't but there's a message here for somebody i don't know why let's use the um the astro matrix tarot This person is very immature, by the way, and very low vibrational, very low vibrational. We got the Knight of Wands to the Hierophant in the reverse. This person could be a Taurus as well. This person is lying to you about a job, or this person is working for some type of low vibrational company. This person's a gigolo. Oh my God. This person is a gigolo. Spirit says that's the truth. This person is a gigolo. Whatever this person is telling you they do for work, they're lying. I'm picking up on the fact that you probably even never been to where they work. Like they just told you they work somewhere. They they're gone for hour every you know a certain amount of time throughout the day. We're going to get into this. This person is works for a very low does something very low vibrational for money, and it's using that wand. And Spirit says that is the truth. Okay. So that's the reason why this person deflects and does all this different kind of things. All right, let's get some more energy on this. This person could have um, funny colored eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes people say people have pretty eyes or different color, but funny color eyes. Anybody out there that knows what I'm talking about is the difference between somebody having pretty colored eyes and funny colored eyes. This person kind of gives you, I don't know, funny colored eyes. Kind of like they could be like Creole. You know, a lot of a lot of Creole people have funny, like not to say that they're ugly colored eyes, but there's something, it's something very kind of <laughs> magical. I don't know, something not magical, but something kind of 
you know what I'm saying, supernatural about this person's eyes I'm seeing. This person has some very beautiful eyes, but there's something kind of dangerous. I don't know, magical or... I don't know, man. I'm seeing this person, though. Their, their eyes, anyways. There's something about their eyes. Like, you know, I know people that when they get mad, like, the, you can see the devil in it. Like, they turn their, their eyes change colors. I've seen when that happens. This person, that could happen to this person. But it's kind of like you don't, you could be a little kind of creeped out or scared of this person. I feel like when this person, I said, karmic John, being karmic Malkovich, it's like this person, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm telling you. Something's wrong with this person. This person got issues, G. This person by riddled with demons. We got the hanged one in the reverse. The not king. Of, I'm t king of wands here in the reverse to the five of cups. And don't feel bad about any of whatever this person is doing. This this person doesn't feel bad about using their wand. I told you, king of wands, knight of wands out here to the eight of, to the eight of pentacles to the hierophant in the reverse. This person is a escort or is working for a company doing like porn or something. Oh my god, these people get on my damn nerves. That's why they don't want you ask, asking all them questions. That's why they act a fool. Because they don't want you knowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. This person's probably like in their mid-20s or late 20s, early 30s. Could be older than that, but very immature. This person is very immature. Lovers in the reverse. I can't make it up. This is your karmic flame. Why do you feel like you're stuck with this person? With the hang one in the reverse? Tell me about the hang one in the reverse. Okay. One twelve p.m. Somebody could really like Peaches and Cream, that song, or the group One Twelve. Somebody could look like one of them niggas from One Twelve. Somebody could sing like one of them niggas from One Twelve. Okay, somebody could be born in the year nineteen eighty three as well. Atlanta, Georgia, could be very significant as well. person is a Pisces. This person is a Pisces king of wands in the reverse. And don't feel bad about it at all. They actually like what they do. Five of cups in the reverse. They ain't crying over spill milk. They don't give a fuck about that shit. You, they're lovers in the reverse. I'm telling you, this is your karmic soulmate. This person is either, this person either has, this person could have Pisces and Gemini in their chart. I'm picking up on the fact that this person is a Pisces with the Gemini South Node. Alexa, tell me about Gemini South Node. From astrology.com. The Gemini South Node can indicate that you were overly talkative or too much of a gossip in your past life. Apparently, she's not a Gemini South Node because that was a very short. Let's look up. Uh, let's ask uh, Chat GPT or Copilot. Uh, the actual. Let's see the the traits of Gemini South Node. I'm getting more comfortable with using AI. Uh, I I generally, you know, don't trust. I, I don't know. I got an issue with AI. I just do. I feel like it makes people lazy. I feel, but it is very helpful in a lot of different ways. Trust me, I definitely know that. Um, this is just gay. So it, it's weird. The South Node in Gemini in astrology is associated with traits and patterns from past lives that are brought into the current life. Here are some key traits and tendencies for individuals with the Gemini South Node. It's all good things, though. So I feel like if we're going to flip it in the South Node energy, this person is not really focused. This person um, has a problem or, or, or adaptability. And so it says intellectual focus. I feel like this person does not have good focus. I feel like this person is like a gerbo or a hamster or like a squirrel. You know what I'm saying? It could be like a squirrel kind of always looking flashy things, kind of um, 
catch this person's attention. Adaptability, a natural ability to adapt to different situations and envir environments is evident. That is a Gemini trait, but I feel like they use that as a form to, you know, uh, it's one thing to be a chameleon or to be able to be like a shapeshifter in a good sense. I feel like this person is a, uh, this person switches up on you in a bad way, depending on who they're around. You know what I'm saying? Communication skills. They, this person is a liar or, or does a lot of talking. This person could talk circles around people. That's why I'm telling you, there's some Gemini Pisces energy here. Uh, yeah, I feel like, yeah, so it moves in silence. I'm telling you, this person, this person does a lot of talking. This person could be like a car salesman. This person could like be in sales. Of course, they're in the sale because they're selling that booty in that in that dangalang. Okay, they definitely are. They work. That's what they do for work. Um, I feel like I feel like this person works for like a company or a pimp. This person does have somebody very. Um, I said dolphin. So somebody could really like dolphins. Dolphins. Dolph. Dolph. Dolph is very significant. Dolph. Somebody could live in Florida. Somebody could be from Florida. Okay. Somewhere near ocean. I don't know if dolphins, California, anywhere where there's warm water, ocean, salt water, ocean. I think all the all ocean is salt water. But nonetheless, what I'm pretty much saying is dolphins are very significant. Somebody could have a tattoo of a dolphin. Somebody could like young Dolph or Dolph. Dolph is very significant here. Uh, this person, though, uh, I feel like this person is just a just a this person needs to come out of the, this person. So you could be a female dealing with this man. Uh, this person uh, needs to come out or they're stuck because they can't come out with the hermit in the reverse. So they refuse to go within. But best believe uh, any ladies out there, this person is star in the reverse. This person could actually be ill as well. Or suffering from some type of trauma. Which is unfortunate. But that doesn't give them a right to treat you any kind of way. Uh, people never people never take out the take out take out their aggression and anger on people who truly traumatize them you know what i'm saying a hint, you know they never do if they do they do it later on either either oh no nah, dude i heard either people some i just heard somebody say either they do it when they kids to their parents or they do it when they really owe to their parents so take that energy as it resonates this person could really hate their parents or maybe always talking crazy about their parents i don't know but best believe uh, any of my females um, in the uh, collective that is watching, uh, what I say, okay, so a lot. I feel like a lot of women when they find out that their 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 male partner or their male boyfriend or husband is like a gigolo, they're always kind of like trust and believe that if a man can be bought, he'll do anything for money. Okay, if a man gonna be a gigolo for a woman. Best believe if a man, if a man offered a man another if a man offered that same gigolo so a gigolo could go I ain't dealing with no man uh uh I only do this with women <laughs> whatever okay because let the right let them let a man come along with that right amount of money they gonna switch that up real quick believe that okay this person could have an OnlyFans account I just heard. Cancer at the bottom of the deck in the reverse to the nine of cups in the reverse. I just feel like overall this person just I'm you're starting to really kind of understand that this person is not for you. This is not your wish fulfillment. I think you understood that. Okay, so let's move on. I feel like I feel like you left this person alone, or you're about to. Uh, but this person is uh trolling you or stalking you or whatever so let's see what's going on here we'll be using the badass tarot deck here tell us tell us what we need to know here what do you want the collective to know this uh this afternoon Page of Cups in the reverse. Ex asshole. Pay fishy cup. This person is crazy. This person, you don't want to be bothered with this person. Not at all. Mm -mm. Ooh. 
Queen of Wands, Five of Wands to the King of Swords. You found you somebody else. Somebody who's very honest and smart that this person couldn't compare to. You're the Queen of Wands here. So you got a new man coming into your life or you already have met one. I'm picking up on the fact you're already with somebody else. A King of Swords, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, feminine energy, male or female. Okay. And right behind you is the Knight of Swords too. So again... You're going to have to call the police on this person. You are. The hermit to the injustice, uh, to the justice card in the reverse to the knight of swords. This person is in a perpetual state of night energy. This person is very immature. This could be somebody younger than you as well. But what this tells me is that this person um, is stalking you, Ill like illegally stalking you. The hermit talks about somebody hiding or, you know, with a flashlight kind of energy. This person... It's very angry that you left them alone. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Why is this person mad that you left them alone? I mean, this person did a whole lot of... A whole lot, a lot of... I feel like for a while you probably were hooked on this person, especially with the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands energy. This motherfucker probably was putting it down in the bedroom. I'm trying to tell you. Anybody that done been with anybody like that, you already know. Hey, the motherfucker get on your nerves, but as soon as they put that thing on you, then your ass is like ripped to go for another week of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of feel like you might have been a little digmatized by this person. Why do I feel like I'm talking to male and female collective? I'm telling you, this person is a switch hitter. Do anything for some change. But there was something about you, though, that they didn't, that they, I feel like this person leaves people, like doesn't have a problem with leaving people alone, but I feel like. This person uh, doesn't want to leave you alone, but why though? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. <laughs> this person's like, nah, fuck that. This person feels like you belong to them, I'm hearing. It's probably because you, you know, let me just see. I'm picking up on the fact that it got something to do with their mama issues. It's got something to do with their mom. I can't make it up. Seven of cups in the reverse to the, the six of cups. You see that picture there? And you see what's going on in this picture? This picture always makes me feel very uncomfortable here. It just does. Because ain't no way in hell no man wearing them kind of jeans with this kind of pose, with that kind of watch, is looking at a picture of a female from this day and age. This is his mother. This person I'm showing, I'm, pick, I'm telling you, has issues with their mama. That's the reason why they the Lulu. Okay, seven of cups in the reverse. This person got fucking mommy, mommy issues. Okay, confirmation. Their mother could be a Libra. There could have been some court situations in the past. Um, this person could have grown up in like foster care or, or something going on with their mother. I'm telling you, you remind, that's why this person does what they do for money. The card tells it all. Okay. What did I say about OnlyFans? What did I say about OnlyFans? I told you motherfuckers. I told y'all. This is what this person does for work. Only fans. Because they don't love themselves. Oh, this is getting sad now. I mean, it was, it's been sad. Kind of, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Not, I can't. I cannot make it up. Nine of cups in the reverse. Again, I said this person is it's, it's sad, man. This person does not have any kind of happiness in their life they don't want to let it go so you're like their supply or not even their supply here we go again it's kind of like this person once needs you they want you to they it's kind of like they want you to be their the mother they never the mother that they know that they this person is smart too though they, they can finesse the hell out of anybody. It's kind of like they, they're looking for you to, they're looking for you to discipline them, to rear them. So when this person embarrassed you in public and started acting a fool, what they really wanted you to do was slap the shit out of them and tell them to shut the fuck up and go to the car. You know what I'm saying? It's sick, but it's the truth. Yikes.
I'm waiting on the Empress and the Reverse card to pop out, or the Empress and the Upright. It's got, it's got to come out at some point. Ten of Wands here in the Reverse. This person can't carry the, whatever happened to them in the past. This person is having a hard time carrying it. The Ten of Wands and the Upright says that somebody is carrying the burdens or dealing with the burdens. This person can't deal with it. This person, that's why this person won't leave you alone. They feel lost without you. The Hermit in the reverse again. This person doesn't, there's like a block there. The High Priestess at the, the Emperor in the reverse. This person probably got daddy issues as well. Okay. This person might have children too that they don't really take care of. Happy Father's Day. This person d doesn't know how to go within. They don't they don't know they don't they don't have a, they don't have an understanding about what it is to be introspective. They don't like what they see. Hello. They don't like what they see when they go within. There was some type of abuse in the past. Again, I feel bad for whoever this is, but it's no excuse for them to treat people the way that they do. And it's really no excuse for, you know, I, I'm very sensitive to uh, the symptoms of, of post-traumatic stress syndrome, abuse in the past. You know, I'm not picking up on any kind of like, you know, like they're dangerous to children kind of energy. I'm not picking up on that. That's that's not what I'm talking about here. But this person is at a loss with the five of Pentacles here. There's a puzzle. There's something missing from this person's life. And I feel like this person found it with you. So, yeah. One more. No. Mm -hmm. We'll try one more time here. person drives like a black or you do I want to say like an Acura or something like that an Acura a black car an Acura mm -hmm. a fast car or I don't know the four pinnacles here this person is trying to hold on to this they don't want to let go they do not want to let go eight of cups. They don't want to walk. They don't want to walk away. They don't want you to walk away from them. They are holding on nine of cups. I'm back, bitches. This person, I told you, Empress in the upper. This person feels like you are their. <laughs> this is sad. Ah. This person does not want to let you. There's kind of. It's there's some. There's something very strange here going on here. This person is with you or, or does not want to abandon the situation because you are the mother that they never knew. Male or female, I have to keep throwing in there because it happens. They don't want you finding anything out about what they do for work. That's another thing, too. Yeah, they don't want you finding out because they know it will break your heart. You still have some type of affections for this person. You're still thinking about this person. I feel like, uh, I feel like you... That's the truth. Spirit says that's the truth. I feel like you are... Still thinking about this person. I mean, this person probably is texting you. The new man that you're with is probably like, man, come on, G. Like, I know you care about this. I feel like this person calls you a lot. Like, you are this. I mean, and it's it's kind of like you are dealing with this person. On a, Like, you probably even tell your new dude, like, it ain't even what you think, man. This is like one of my kids. Like, this is that's. I mean, I, we used to fuck around. But, like, I, I'm pretty much like this person's guide or parent or something. Uh there's no competition with this person and your new person with the five of wands in the reverse here. Okay. Uh, but this king of swords energy, he ain't having it. He or she. Take the energy as it resonates. You feel me? So I kind of feel like at this point, I, I, I feel like this is, a, this is a topic of conversation. What do you do? Uh, my advice? Hey, somebody asked for it. All right. When I get rich, I'm gonna make. I'm telling you, I'm gonna make a clothing line for men my size. Cause this, 
it's kind of hard, okay? And I'm gaining, I mean, I can't gain, I can't generally, like, I think the most I've weighed over the last 30 years is 155, maybe 160. But I usually stay between 130 and one, well, about 133 to 143, maybe a little over. I always know when I'm gaining weight because my booty get a little bit bigger and uh, my face gets a little fuller. You feel me? <laughs> Confirmation. Signing off on the universe. That's what I thought. Okay. Confirmation, baby. This person doesn't want this to end. This person does not have a connection to their self. This person needs you. They, they feel, oh my God. This person, ten of pinnacle, ten of wands, ten of swords in the reverse, to the high priestess in the reverse, to strength in the reverse, to the nine of pinnacles in the reverse, to the ace of pinnacles in the reverse, to the seven of wands in the reverse. This person has not been able to, okay, what a fortune in the reverse. Wow. So what am I picking up here? Okay, so the fact of the matter is this person does not want this to end because, again, they don't know what they're doing. They have no intuitive kind of nothing. And it's weird because they're a Pisces. This person should very well be like, be able to like be very psychic, but we are out of the age of Pisces. I feel like whatever this person always believed they're, they're maybe figuring out now is not the truth because we're, we're in the I know instead of I believe. So the, the age of Pisces is very significant here. This person is very weak. This person doesn't know what to do. I told, listen, I told you this person wanted you to, to spank them, okay? person is very codependent on your energy this person doesn't know what to do without you <laughs> the ace of pentacles in the reverse it talks about money but it also talks about prosperity and uh spiritual enlightenment spiritual endowments this person feels i feel like this person realizes that you are their guide you're their way shower okay you're, you're, you're you they depend on you to show them the way houston texas could be very significant as well You put this, you block this person, seven of wands here. And ever since you block this person, they have not been able to manage at all, unfortunately. Okay. Wheel of fortune in the reverse. This person is at the bottom of the wheel of fortune. Things are not going, the things are not going well for this person right now. Okay. You may not even know this right now because you're not talking to this person. Six of Pentacles, yeah, because you're no longer giving and receiving with this person. This is a when this when I see this card a lot of times, it does talk about giving and receiving. But what people, I feel like people should understand as well. This is kind of like a, a, a an exchange of energy. This way, you're exchanging it in a positive way, good manner. This way, it means that either you're sharing your energy with somebody who's not deserving enough, or you're just giving your energy away all the time but what this truly means to me right now is that this person you're no longer giving and sharing there's no kind of you it's on it was an unevenly yoked situation to begin with okay but i feel like you're no longer giving anything to this person your energy they they rely on your energy this I'm telling you two of wands man this person is watching you they're sitting around thinking all damn day about you there's like this is this is some astral shit i feel like i feel like this person's pulling on your energy regardless if they know it or not this person is very un this person needs to heal they, they look at you for healing to make them happy okay but they are stuck five of pentacles oh shit they're stuck and they're looking at you for balance you're an earth angel you could be a sagittarius as well You and this person have had a past life, uh, a past life together. Five of Pentacles again. You, this person, you left this person. This person feels so alone, and this is like when you feel bad for people. Like this, per I don't, I don't really feel like you're even realizing this, or maybe you do. I don't know, but I feel like this person. This is why this person is stuck. They don't know what to do. They, they're like a lost puppy. They have no idea what to do without you. I'm not sure what the relationship is. Why I, why I do kind of see that the relationship with the parent and the mother in the past is horrible. It's like, the, you know, I don't know. 
it's weird when people tell you like they like you remind them of their mother. I've had people tell me that quite a bit. I've had people tell me like you remind me of my dad, and it's always, you know, I expect that. But when people be like, no, I, <laughs> this is this is fucked up. So people tell me, I've had a lot of people tell me, man, you really remind me of my mom. And all of these people that told me that were definitely people that had issues with their mother, yada, yada, yada. So, of course, that's divine feminine energy. That's why I resonate a lot with the divine feminine energy. But I've also had people tell me, like, you remind me of my father. Now, the, 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 di uh, the dynamic here, the, 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 ah, the dichotomy here. So when people tell me that they, I remind them of their mother, these are the people that treat me like shit. They are. They, these are the people that there's love there, but they but they're no they're very disrespectful. They're always lying. They even get abusive. There's there's no respect there. But there seems to be some type of love hate kind of situation. People that have told me that I remind them of their father are very respectful, very attentive, listen. Uh, I can talk to them, community. It's always very positive there. But when it comes to that mothering kind of thing. These motherfucking people lose. They, they they are very disrespectful. Okay. So you could, again, I kind of feel like I'm going to put that in the title because I kind of feel like a, this person or these people, because I feel like this person. See, when I pull on energy from the collective, there's always something very common amongst people. Either it's a theme or a person. Okay. That's what I do know. That's what I've grown to understand because you're the queen of cups here. The mother energy. That's your energy. Tell me about this King of Swords, the new person. Because <laughs> I feel like this person ain't having it. I don't really feel like this person's with it. I feel like this is... I feel like whoever you're with now... <laughs> this is going to sound really crazy. Whoever this person is, this person knows that you're with somebody else. Okay? I feel like this person has told you something like, I don't care. I still need to... I, I, I still want to see you. Ain't got no problem with dude... <laughs> I just kind of feel like you two are the parents that this person never had okay i feel like they, i feel like this person wants to be a part of the whole situation this person could have possibly even kind of suggested that Whoever this new person that you're with is going to bring you some. This is this is good for you. The sun energy It's something new. It's something fresh. OK, you guys could have a brand new. The sun talks about brand new everything. OK, it's very good. It's a yes card. OK, it's very positive here. This person is not having this. I don't really I don't really feel like this person's OK with that, especially with the king of swords out here. I kind of feel like you've been keeping this relationship quiet with you and this new person. Like you don't. Maybe you haven't told this person yet that you're with this person because you don't want to hurt this person's feelings or you don't want the fucking drama. Okay. Or you don't, you know, I don't really feel like this person is going to cause you any drama when they, I feel like this person may be already, I don't know, but I feel like you've been keeping this relationship quiet between you and this person. Spirit is saying that you should, you shouldn't do that. That's control. You don't have to keep this a secret, and you shouldn't feel bad about it either. That's what that means, okay? All right. You don't have to keep this relationship quiet to pacify this baby. Call his mama and tell his mama that he needs a titty in his mouth, or a pacifier, or make him make his ass a bottle, okay? And uh, yeah, you're not accepting any offers from that person. You don't want to talk to this person. You don't really care what they got going on. I feel like you care about the person, but it's time to move on. What's the advice for the collective? What, what do we... Pisces again, the hangman, is going to come and offer you a cup of love. Because you are the healer in this person's relationship. You're, in this, you're the healer in this person's life. 
you're this you're the north star you know the whole thing about the follow the north star take you back home you'll always you know as long as you follow the north the north star um you will always be going in the right direction that's considered that's north node energy i feel like this person looks at you as their guide to make them better they're going to come towards you because they're still stuck like chuck they're going to come towards you and tell you how much they love you how much they need you please 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 i'm here they want you to take them out from the cold they need they need you they need you they need you spirit says that is the truth the ace of wands here but they're going to be lying to you they're not going to tell you that they're, that they're a gigolo they're not going to tell you that i feel like i feel like that's something that you don't understand i feel like that's something that you need to know before you consider maintaining any kind of relationship with this person my best advice is that you've moved on what i've learned is that i move forward i move on nothing personal g but i got somebody else you can't really trust a man that wants to be with you around your new man your new man doesn't even trust that shit your new man look like he'll probably beat the fuck out of this person and this part and it, i because I, I don't really i kind of feel like you know we we make excuses for people that we're with like he just had a hard life or she just had a hard life and the new person's like i don't give a fuck about that person's hard life we're, we're trying to have a good life you know what i'm saying we're trying to have a good life you're trying to have a good life <laughs> okay when you were with that person was your life any good you got to ask yourself that no probably not it was full of drama confirmation I feel like I feel, I feel like whoever you're with now is very kind of king of swords, king of swords energy, male or female. And what does this mean? This person is looking at things very logically, very into with with a lot of intellect, but very clear and cut. They don't have time for this shit at all. You have a brand new passionate beginning here, a brand new everything with this new person. Don't let this new person fuck it up because they don't know how to heal. They don't know how to go within. I feel like you've given this energy enough time, this person enough time, male or female, again. Take the energy as it resonates. I feel like this is going to go for a lot of people this morning, or this afternoon, rather. You have you have the sun energy here, and I feel like I feel like you you feel. I feel like you're considering this 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 pre this past person's feelings a tad bit way too much. I feel like I feel like you're I feel like you're you're considering their, their feelings period I'm gonna tell you right now as, as much as I love people and as much as the empath I, I am I've had to learn how to say I don't give a fuck about how they feel I gotta be happy for me I gotta move forward with my life okay let's get a final message out here for the collective Again, happy Father's Day to uh, any of my uh, fathers out there in the collective. July 4th is very significant here. Okay? Again, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. This person is going to come along. It's just going to slow you down even more with the baggage. You can't, it's, it's not something, I can't tell you what to do. Nothing's going to come of this. Three of Wands is nothing good. There's, you can't expect anything from this situation. Here goes that night energy again in the reverse. This person's going to come back and breadcrumb you. It's just going to weigh you down. That's what their plan is because they don't. Ten of Swords. Manipulation. High Priestess in the reverse. The Nine of Pentacles here. This person is manipulating you. You need to, This person is hoping that you're going to... This person could be doing something... Because anytime the Magician and the High Priestess come out together in the reverse, this person is doing some type of... This person's very either highly manipulative, dipping in the... dipping. You know, a lot of times I feel like people don't realize that they have... I feel like this person divinates in the... I feel like this person with their, with their sex... I feel like that's how this person casts spells with their sex. You feel me? And I'm telling you that this person could be ill as well with the star in the reverse at the very top here. That could be about to come out with the hermit in the reverse. I feel like that's something that you're not looking into or never considered. This person could feel stuck because they're ill. 
They're still not going to be honest with you about that. They're not. Yeah, blank face. As soon as you ask them motherfucker a question about their health, it's going to be a blank face. And if they do, and if you were to ask them if they had something and they were honest with you, they'd probably tell you that you're the one that gave it to them, but there goes the tower. Let this person go. That's just my advice. Do what you want to do, okay? Anything else for the collective this afternoon? You don't have to explain, again, you don't have to explain anything to this person to bring it right back around. I feel like this person is going to, I feel like you just always feel like you, you don't have to explain shit to this person. Whoever you are, you're a people pleaser, you're an earth angel, and I get it, but you got to stop people pleasing. Your new person tells you that a lot, I'm sure. Your new person probably tells you that it's, you can stop worrying about everybody else and worry about yourself for a change. That's good advice. For a lot of people pleasers out there, that may that may seem like that's selfish. But do you really care what other people think? You know, a lot of people will say you're selfish when you're doing better for yourself or when you make decisions that are only going to benefit you. Okay? If you don't have any kids, then you should only make decisions that are going to benefit you. Who else do you have to consider, especially if you're around a bunch of selfish ass fucking people? They're going to say that you're selfish. Because you're not the same people pleaser anymore. So in a sense, yeah, you are being more selfish. You're not giving as much of yourself to people as you used to. And that's perfectly fine. Don't feel guilty about that. I mean, you're going to feel... If you're an empath, you're going to feel whatever somebody else is feeling. Or you may... Good people always question themselves. Even when... I feel like good people always do that. Even in situations where they haven't done anything wrong, but yet somebody has still been hurt. Good people always take a step back and go... Let me rethink. Did I? Did I? Did I? Could I possibly have done something that is maybe misconstrued, misunderstood, or I could be more clear about? Good people do that. Selfish motherfucking people don't care about that stuff. So you're not selfish. You're just being more selfless with yourself. Okay, in the energy that is yours. A win-win outcome is in the forecast with this new person. Full moon in Libra. This new person could be a Libra with the King of Swords out here as well. Emotions are running high right now. So, yeah, you could be very anxious. That's just, that's not your energy. It's this person trying to come back into your energy. Okay? One more. The answers you need are coming. It's in the reverse. We're going to get one more here. The reason why it's in the reverse, full moon in Gemini. Gemini rules communication. This person is a low vibrational as Gemini. The answers you need are not going to come from dealing with this person. They're just going to keep lying. Okay? Take time to breathe out. Yeah, you probably need some time to take. You need. I feel. I feel like what needs to happen is a cord cutting. I don't like to tell people to do that, but that seems like this might be a very good option for you. Do a cord cutting because to me it feels like you've already moved on, but there's still something keeping you connected to this person. That's a spiritual energetic cord. Ask Archangel Michael to cut that cord for you tonight while you're meditating or in a spiritual bath, spiritual shower. You just get five to ten minutes by yourself in silence. Close your eyes. Ask Archangel Michael to sever this. Uh, this very toxic connection that you have, karmic connection that you have with this person from a past life. Because this person, this is past life energy as well. Ask Archangel Michael to take care of that for you. Or go get a candle that breaks contracts. There's a lot of good people out there. I like to, you know, throw out there, you know, my girl, the pretty oracle. She sells candles that break contracts, okay? And expect a powerful change. New moon eclipse. Eclipse this person out of your life. Don't feel guilty about it either. You got to do what's best for you adjustments are required again you got to stop being such a people pleaser okay this person been doing whatever the hell they want to do and working for it and getting paid behind your back and you ain't even know nothing about this i feel like this this information is going to help you make a better decision to move forward with your life and that's where we're going to leave this message i'm closing out the reading i'm your uncle seven nine the spiritual savage remember you grow i grow i grow you grow we grow together so i was loving light around this bitch as always take it easy i love you to the moon and back happy father's day again fellas deuces